Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Before starting this tutorial, let's understand the importance of credit management in D365. Credit management proactively suggests credit control activities, thereby improving cash flow, reducing bad debts. Microsoft Dynamics Credit Management lets you manage credit limits and control the flow of sales orders through the posting process based on credit rules that you create. The credit management process in D365 includes the following steps. First, it updates credit attributes for customers to provide additional information about their credit worthiness. Second, it creates credit limits for customers by using credit limit adjustments. Third, it creates temporary credit limits for customers by using credit limit adjustments. In this way, you can temporarily increase or decrease customer credit limits based on business requirements. Fourth, it adds information that can affect the credit limit, such as information about insurance and guarantees. Fifth, it creates customer credit groups that link customers together so that they share a single credit limit. Sixth, it assigns risk scores to customers and then uses the scores to automatically generate credit limits for those customers through credit limit adjustments. And finally, it creates blocking rules that put an order on hold during one or more posting processes based on factors such as risk, payment terms, credit limits, overdue amounts, and the percentage of the credit limit that has been used. In this module, we will learn how to set up credit limits automatically and disable the manual options and thus making our whole task more facile. So, let's begin! In order to set up the credit limits automatically, we will first navigate to the Credit and Collections, followed by Setup and Credit and Collections parameters, respectively. Under the Parameters tab on Credit on the left side, we will navigate or scroll to the Credit Limits and disable Allow Manual Editing of Credit Limits. With the disabling of this option, the user will not be allowed to add credit limits directly to customers' forms. Instead, they would be allowed to go to the Credit Limit Adjust form. For setting up the Auto Credit Limit Go To, we need to navigate to Credit and Collections, followed by Setup, then followed by Credit Management, Risk, and then finally select the Automatic Credit Limits. Based on the Risk Classification Group, we have created three credit limit records, high, medium, and low. One by one, we will review all of them ranging from high to low. Let's review the high one first. Here, if the customer falls into priority and maintains an average balance of 250,000, his credit limit given should be 150,000 in total. For medium, if the customer falls into regular and maintains an average balance of 50,000, his credit limit given should be 60,000 in total. For low, as we have blocked the customer, we did not give any credit limits. As we disable the manual credit limits and set them to automatic, we need to check the limits in the posting journal. Now to check the change, we will navigate to Credit and Collections, followed by Credit Limit Adjustments. We will now select a line from the above pane and click on Generate, then select Automatic Credit Limits. Now, we will assign a date for the expiry of automatic credit limits. For example, after six months. Unlimited credit limit should be set to no. If you want to run the job for only specified customers, then click on Records to include and select a filter, give the customer account number, and then click OK. If you want to delete the existing lines, then enable existing adjustment lines and run the job. Now, we can see that the number of records calculated and the credit limits get changed for the customers. Finally, you can go to the customer account to check new credit limits. With this, we have come to the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will help you set up risk classification in Microsoft Dashboard and work with it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.